Hi, I'd like to do a demo for you of PageForce.com and this is a uh, JavaScript web application platform we've been working on. Our goal is to make it easy to write complete web applications where you only have to write client-side JavaScript. So our, uh, our back-end server uh, handles data storage and user account registration and a couple other cool features. But uh, this video is just to show you how to get started, and uh, you'll see that you can very quickly get a uh, web app running that you can then start uh, tweaking and making your own. So to get started, uh, click on this Create Your App Now button on our uh, homepage, and that will take you over to our sample app called scratch.pageforce.com. So you'll see here a very simple application. I'm signed in right now. Uh, there is a note field here. This is my note. And I can then just use the application bar here and, and uh, call it my demo scratch document. I'll make it a publicly viewable document. And you'll see in the address bar now that it uh, has added a, a um, anchor tag at the end that gives the name of this document. So now if I refresh this page, uh, you'll see that it loads again the, the note that I had typed in earlier. Um, I'll show you a little bit behind the scenes now that that document is actually stored as a, uh, a JSON uh, document and uh, using a RESTful interface, you just do HTTP get and you can see the contents of the document so there's a bunch of metadata about it and this this blob portion here is a piece of JSON in which case just a string that saves the state of my document okay so let's go ahead and uh, make a clone of this application so PageForce is designed to make it easy to start with an app that already exists on our site and if you want to make it uh, clonable you can you can do that so other people can make copies so I'll call this one Scratch2, and um, I'll go ahead and create this app. I'm already signed in now. You'll have to uh, create an account on uh, pageforce.com uh, to do this and register your email address. Okay, there we go. So uh, now we have this Scratch app, and you'll see it looks exactly like the original because it's a perfect copy except now I'm not signed in to the app. Each app uh, has its own users have to authenticate uh, into PageForest and then uh, their credentials uh, will be uh, yeah, given to each app so you have to explicitly permit this new application Scratch 2 to, to uh, log in and save documents on my behalf. Uh, so now if I go and uh, see that this is a working application again and I'll go ahead and save this one and it's saved I get a new name for it and it's on a new another different domain if you click on your username you'll uh, bring up a list a directory of uh, apps that I've created before and I can I can open them from here uh, and it just takes me to each application with that anchor tag so that it can load the storage for that document. Okay, so let's take a look at a little bit about, about uh, what is going on behind the scenes for this app and we'll modify it just to prove that we can now uh, uh, edit our own application. So I'll launch this thing called the editor. Um, you'll have to, this is another PageForest app itself which is designed to edit other PageForest apps, kind of meta, and um, you'll, you'll have to sign into this app to get permissions and it shows you all the apps that are on our service that that you have permissions to edit yourself. Uh, so here's the Scratch 2 app and uh, let me go ahead and open up the index.html and you'll see PageForest apps are really just simple. They're very standard um, uh, kind of static HTML sites uh, that you then have uh, client-side JavaScript in so uh, you can store all your static assets up on our service uh, so we do the hosting for you. Um, so this is the source code for the Scratch app, and uh, uh, and I'll make I'll change the title of it to say 
my own sample page forest app. And I'll go ahead and save that in the editor here. And uh, then if we go back to Scratch 2, and I'll go ahead and refresh this page. And there we go, my own. So uh, getting started uh, is pretty much just as easy as that. And you can edit all those assets in the editor. And uh, that's kind of the simplest way to get started. So in another video, I'll show how you can use your uh, ordinary desktop tools to edit uh, files on your local machine and then copy them up to PageForest uh, from the command line. All right. Thanks a lot.